Right guys, so, as you see with the title, it's a Cobra's third fight, right? And we've got about probably, I would say about an hour until we go out, so we're back in the Crown Plaza. Um, it's looking good. Um, it's very hard being here and not being ready to fight, but it's a good distraction with Xander, but it's one of those things that's filling up. It's, it's got a good crowd actually, it's not as busy, but it's got a good crowd, but um, as I said, we're here to fight, so just ask Xander, like, how are you feeling, mate? Extremely confident. Extremely confident. I've been nervous my last two fights, I'm not really nervous today. Right. Just, I feel ready. I've been feeling yeah. ready for a good two weeks. Yeah. I would agree, I think there was a point there where we were near like the overtraining mark and we just re reined it back. Uh, You're looking sharp again, your sparring was good last week. But we were just sitting there the new and again, we can't really tell when you look at pads and stuff like that, but his opponent in there, as I just said to you the other day, he looks, he doesn't look like no mug, he looks like he's up for it. He's got a wee bit, he's got a few kilos on you as well. Yeah. The thing is, when you're in shape as this guy, he's absolutely diced. Um, he's absolutely shredded, so it's hard to get somebody that's going to look like him at his weight and his age and that kind of thing. So, we're having to come across some compromise here. So, who's all here to watch you? Um, my mum, my auntie, my brother and his pal keeps, my girlfriend, her family. Um, Maggie, Jason, Richard, and his family. Yep. Got Ruth. Um, so we've got a we've got a good bit of team here. We've got a good bit of Adam's team here. Here. Adam's here as well. Yep. So we've got a good team. We've got a good support. This is going to be, in my opinion, um, just looking at it, judging it could be his hardest fight to date. We're getting all the the preparation in, all the preps done. The easiest part should be the fight. It should be the fight. So. Again, it's a third fight, they were still relatively new to this. So, all credit to his opponent before we even get in there. Um, he's came in a way show, it's not it's not an easy thing to do, and it's not a lot of folk do it. Um, so again, we're, we're really looking forward to this, we're going to get in there. Just had a couple of fights on the new, I think the third fight's on the new, Xander's on ninth. So, just get this wee bit out, and the next time you see us, we're going to be in here, we're going to be warming up, and we're going to be ready to go out there and fight, right? So. Season. Good luck mate, we'll see your hands, right. let's go.
Right, so we've had a nearly a week to sit and gather our thoughts on this whole this whole thing, this defeat, our first defeat. So how are you feeling it? I was devastated at the time. Yeah. But I've really managed to just I got over it by the Sunday. Sunday mm. afternoon, had my burger, over it past that. <laughs> right. It was all good. It was one of the ones like if I had to as a coach, like kinda of analysing it, it was maybe it was maybe a wee bit of a, a step up too soon. Um, the boy was clearly 
a bit savvy and we knew that going into it, um, we knew that going into it, talking to Scott. I think you weighed, the day before, you weighed like 60 kilos and we know on the fight day where you actually ate loads and you still weighed 61 and I know he was closer to 66 and I mean in boxing terms it was one of those ones where we, we weren't, I wasn't really sure about taking the fight. I'm not going to say on reflection, I wish we didn't. It's one of the ones um, that could be a blessing. It mm -hmm. could be a blessing. Um, even in your training already this week, I, f I feel like you've been a bit different. I feel like you've been a wee bit more, a wee bit more driven with it, um, because there is that wee bit of monotony when it's been going on for so long. And a defeat can go two ways, but it can make you just want to wrap it, or it can make you want to keep going. Uh, so it's it's one of these things. That it's, it wasn't nice um, as a coach. It wasn't nice, but at the same time, it, it could it could be a good thing. It could be a good thing. Depending on how you look at it, it could be a good thing. Um, it's been feeling like a good thing. Because when you hit there, anything you do past that point feels great. Mm -hmm. So any technique you've worked on past that, you just feel it's going to help. This mm -hmm. is going to help. Next yeah. You learn. yeah. Oh. And looking at the fight, if we had to sit and analyse the fight, I know Sander, as of right now, has not seen the fight back yet. Um, I've seen it a couple of times. Um, and it was what I kind of thought when it first kind of started. It was so scrappy. Like you, you wait till you see it. Like obviously guys watching this video they just seen it, it was just so scrappy there was one of the things and obviously we spoke about it right away after it like everything that you kind of went over and the change room and all that and everything we done in sparring and that we just almost forgot it was almost like we didn't do any of that stuff and from the first round onwards I kind of saw that and I think it was actually more the more credit to your opponent I think it was is it Tony Anthony Tony credit to your opponent Logan, he came Logan, out. Oh, it was Aye. Logan that's what it was sorry his opponent Logan we clearly came out eyes wide and just looked so comfortable and I think they clearly saw you fight before and they kind of knew what they were expecting as well because they boxed a great game plan so fair play to his coaches and um, fair play to him as well he came stuck to his plan and he done absolutely brilliant like I really if it was my fight I'd be so chuffed to him and a lot of credit to his coaches as well by the way because they came came and looked for Xander afterwards I know you really appreciated that as well because I know Xander's young Xander's like you're 15 You'll not be 16 until the end of the year. And it's one of those ones for the guys to come round and say to him like how impressed they are with him. That really did mean a lot. So again, guys, if you watch us on off chance, like that thanks for doing that. That that's that's a massive credit to you guys and, and your club as well. What I will say um for you is a lot of folk don't really realise that you've not even boxed a year yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have to remember that sometimes. Um you've kinda this is a definition of learning on a job. Um, it really is. Um, you maybe didn't have as much sparring as I would like to have had getting into that. Um, and that was your third fight in such a short space of time. And it's not a nice thing to say, but it's probably not going to be your first loss. Um, because you're learning on a job and we step up, it's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher. Mm -hmm. But um, you're going to have a, so much experience by the time it comes to taking this kind of stuff really seriously. Obviously it's serious now, but you do know what I mean. Like, and There's going to be a lot of learning, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, but it's one of the ones with the training already, as I say, there's already a different incentive there. We've started covering different aspects in nutrition. The next step to, after this fight's by way, because it's so close, we don't want to interfere with the training too much, but after this fight getting into May, we're going to have a full training plan. But I've, you don't know, but I've already kind of started having put together and having a really good think about and um, so we've got loads of things to take away for this we've got loads it wasn't like we came away for this it was just like pfft, oh well Aye. at least we tried <laughs> do you know what i mean as i say i'm looking forward to it the next fight for the guys that kind of watch their stuff is it's the 13th of march yep it's a right. friday it's a friday this time 13th of march we'll get a vlog going with and um, we'll get everyone going with and hopefully um we get opponent a wee bit more on weight a wee bit more on the same level um, but at the same time, we're not going to shy away from anything that's going to come up. When we kind of decide on this, it's not a one-way thing. Um, Xander always have a wee look at the opponent, he always has a say in who he fights and how he wants it to go and stuff like that. So, aye. Um, and else you, you want to add in? I'd like to thank everybody for coming, yeah. especially. And staying as well, coming up to me afterwards, telling me they were still proud of me, no matter the outcome. Yeah. And it was just, I felt, all, felt really supported afterwards. Yeah. It was if I didn't disappoint anyone. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, and that means a lot. So for the guys that came in to make you kinda of feel like that, that's really, really appreciated. Now hopefully because it's one defeat the people don't people don't lose interest because 
the defining thing in a lot of this when people tell you and I've spoken about this extensively for the guys that follow follow my Instagram and stuff um, the best thing that ever happened to me when I was boxing was the my first and only defeat um, everything I'd done from there changed it made me analyse what I was doing watched every single fight that I was in back to back if before every single training session without fail looked for every wee hole was listening to coaches a lot more um, knowing what I wasn't what I was doing wasn't quite working I needed to change things up and that's exactly what's going to happen here um, even on, when we go in tomorrow to boxing and we're going to have, I've got things that I really want to work on straight away and I can't wait. I, like I was kind of opposed to the idea of us fighting like in February and March, and I've been very vocal about that to everybody. But now the defeat has happened. I think the next fight couldn't have come soon enough. So 13th of March. Watch it for the next vlog as well. And it's all right when you're winning and everybody's supporting you and all that kind of thing. And it feels great. It feels fantastic. Like mm -hmm. when everything's gone smooth sailing and it looks great. Everybody's high fiving you and all the rest of it, and you already have the the pity stuff like oh well unlucky oh, yeah. the, the, the guys that you know I'm talking about like some of the guys in your school and that, I'm sure I've said it but I really do I'm a big believer in like what's going to define you would have been if you had won those fights that you've had those first two had your third one get beat wrapped it and that was it just a big flash in the pan but I think everybody should be kind of watching this now to see what do you do for here like, even if we have this next fight and you get beat again and we have another fight and you get beat again, like, do we just wrap it? You know what I mean? Like, this is what's going to be a big test of character. And this is where a lot of folk in life would shy away, where something doesn't go their way, something something isn't going well, or they're just, like, they'll give up. Like, when somebody's dieting or the program's getting hard, they'll give up, like, just chuck it the first attempt. But, Again, I don't know what you're going to do, um, so we'll just have to see how this unfolds. Again, the vlogs are going to keep going um, with his fights and stuff. Obviously, this is titled his, his third fight, so you're going to have his tenth fight, hopefully, and we'll see where we go for there, and we'll look back on this, hopefully, in a much more a much more positive light, where it was the best thing ever happened. But, again, we'll just wrap up there, because this video has been going on for a wee bit of a while now. But for everybody um, that's been watching and supporting again, thanks very much. For everybody that's been coming to the fights, hopefully come along for March because I really do think you're going to see a different guy in the space of a few weeks. I really, really do. Um, and you want to say anybody? I'd just really like to thank everyone for coming, watching and all the support you keep giving. Yep. And I hope to see you in March. And everybody, if you don't follow him on Instagram, right, I'm going to put it here. This is his Instagram. Try to convince him to start his own kind of channel where he's training and stuff and he's he's eating and all that kind of things with YouTube. Because I know you're quite popular in your school and that and a lot of people are quite intrigued. So a lot of people go and follow him on Instagram, send him a wee message saying that or leave a comment on these videos as well because he does watch them. But we'll tie it up there. Hopefully you stay tuned and hopefully we have a much better story to tell soon. And then we'll see you soon.